Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Zor Pil yeah. Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Zor Pilgrimage of the Slorfs, uh, which is a title aside. It's a roguelike deck builder strategy RPG, which is really neat, and I'm looking forward to trying it out. But yeah, the moment you say roguelike deck builder, you immediately have my interest. And also shout out to my buddy Rita for telling me about this one. I probably would have missed it otherwise. I have not been looking hard enough, and I really should be. Go clear all enemies. This is a slurf named Gorb. You'll learn the basics of the game as you help him reunite with his friend Hulga. In each game, slurfs must journey through a series of clearings. Between clearings, they make camp where they rest and prepare. To make camp, all enemies in the clearing must be eliminated. <sighs> I don't know why I'm so sleepy. Each round slurfs... Is it? I think it's just the word slurf just makes me sleepy. Each round, slorfs, I feel like it, I need to yawn every time I say that word. It's because they're sloth creatures. Enemies take turns in the order shown. On a slurf's turn, you must play a card telling them what to do. Action cards are blue and target the slurfs to give them actions. Actions can be used to move and do basic attacks. So do I have a... nope. So harvest, motivation. Okay, well, let's start with that. Each action can move one space or do a basic attack. Motivation gave us three actions. Perfect to take out the Grimp Runt. Harvest cards are green and target objects on the map. If an object has an interact effect, Slurfs will use it. With no moves left, let's grab that gem. Grab it. Attack cards are red and can target enemies. The Slurf will immediately attack the target. There we go. When you're ready, make camp. Did a good job helping Gorb, and he shook off his fear and remembered what Slurfs are capable of. Those capabilities take the form of a starter deck of cards that you will use from now on. Is is that just it? Am I good to go? Now there's probably more tutorialization. Oh, this is cute. Upgrade. View your deck and spend EXP to upgrade cards. I like that. I like that. Uh, let's see. Harvest every adjacent tile. Give an action. Give two actions. How much EXP do I have? I got two. So, explore, if I upgrade that, three random upgrades out of ten possible. Sure! Hike, four options. Three, or, uh, sorry, four actions, three actions, attack does not cost, uh, attack cost is not increased. Well, card is in use, or collect. Gain one action when picking up a card, resource, or EXP jam. I feel like Flurry. Seems useful. Okay, and that's the extent of it. Looks like I can keep keep upgrading them too. Alright, start a new day. Looks like there's also kind of a food limitation. I bet we get food back at the end of every battle. And so it's kind of a, a limited amount of energy for each fight. Anyway, Gorb over here. Get me out of these weeds. Hulka thinks Zor you're safe. Look at your hand, notice cards have a food cost. Food or water which is taken from the slurf, slurf using the card. If the cost is more than they have available, they take damage. If they run out of health, they'll collapse. Game over. Thankfully, there are sources of food and water to keep us going strong. Ah, clear all the enemies, destroy all the weeds. So we have a giant mushroom that will fill mushroom patch, enter or harvest. Got it. Okay, well, I don't have flurry, but we can do that. Hulk has joined you, and you can now control both slurfs. Slurfs have their own vitals, but share the same cards. Thankfully, there are sources of food and water to keep us going strong. Okay, we know about that. Destroy the weeds. Oh, there are enemies. Okay, so... Yeah, so we have to... We have to worry about this a little bit. So I'm gonna have him do flurry and just go wreck this guy. And can I... Oh, no, I alternate between them. Okay. Well, in that case, I wonder if I pick up EXP, enter or harvest. I gotta find out. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Uh, let's see, max food. Let's grab that. And she does a swipe, so we only get one, one turn. Makes sense. Make camp. We took a little bit of damage, and hopefully we don't have to worry about food. Okay, so I needed to pick up that EXP, I think. I could be wrong. Food and water replenish each camp. Their health does not. Good to know. 
Okay, so I can upgrade swipe, flurry, explore, explore, walk, harvest. Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade walk. Because just one tile for two food doesn't seem like it's worth it. Okay, journey continues. We've reached our new clearing, but the entrance is jammed and Gorb is stuck. In situations like this, if you don't want to do anything, they can pass their turn. Pass. Okay, we can discard a card. Oh, when you pass, the slurf pays the cost of the card. Oof. Okay, so let's just get rid of that. Throwing has some useful stuff we can gather. Items like the branch become cards when collected. Resources like sticks you can collect unlimited amounts of. Both are useful for crafting, which we can do at camp. Okay. So I gotta keep that in mind. Nuts. And there is a tougher grimp. Let's go there. Let's see. Okay, so the branches are consumable. Yeah, the problem is, if I get him closer, he's just going to take damage. There's not much I can do about it. We have Flurry, though. Yeah, I'm just going to hit it. Also, I should upgrade Harvest now that I'm thinking about it. Let's see. Explore. Harvest. Oh, harvest has no effect. Returned. There we go. Okay, so here's the issue. We have this dude, but I think I want to avoid it briefly. Now she's got plenty of food. Let's grab those. She can grab water. And we want to do motivation. Enter or harvest. Do I get both? Yes. We get a couple of nuts. But I think what we want are the sticks more than anything else. Okay. Consume. Oh, I see. Three food. Now she's got plenty. I'm probably just going to get rid of explore for the time being. How's he doing on food? He's a little low. We might actually just want to hit this thing. I want the sticks. Oh. Okay, that didn't work. It's okay. Enemies cleared. Now we can we can make camp, but we don't have to. We're good uh, for as long as we still have cards and resources. That's useful. Anything else? No, I think we're good. So now we make camp. And now we've got enough th enough EXP, but I think... Okay, crafting. Crafting is possible. What do we want to craft? Oh, small fire. Plus two max food. Interesting. We can also craft a walking stick. Give Slurf two actions. Exhaust card does not reshuffle. I feel like going for the extra max food is better, though. Yes, yeah, Slurf start each day with one evade. Extra max health. Attack card range. Swipe card, EXP for every camp. These are massive, actually. Okay, an available component card. So I need to pick up more stuff, but that's okay. That's neat. I wonder if these... They probably don't carry over. They're probably localized per run. Okay, so if I upgrade this... Harvest area one. Easy harvest. Range two. Okay. So Berserk, it's okay. What about Swipe? Random ones. So upgrading Explore makes a lot of sense just because. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to get Motivation if I can get that over Flurry because Flurry costs food. Harvest, especially Harvest in an AoE might also be really useful. Or Easy Harvest. I don't know, because like forage at a range is good. Easy harvest is also good. But I think all things considered, let's keep upgrading our explorers. Let's see, three actions plus one to food gained when moving. 
two actions or three actions plus one action per adjacent enemy. I like Scour. I like Scour because it kind of pays for itself. Okay, and start a new day. Looks like it might be a bigger fight, a boss fight? Boss fight, maybe? Oh, and there's a health stone. Petroglyph. Alright, Strange Beast. Attack damage 2. Attacks knockback target 2 tiles. Strange and aggressive beast that has never been seen in these parts before. Growling. It's that beast again. This ends right here. Careful now, that's no Grimp. Okay, so how do we want to do this? We're not terribly injured. We don't have that much food. So we don't want to do too much. Oh, this guy moves four. So I think we do actually want to get kind of close. Let's just hit the overgrown weeds for the time being. Give me some more space. Okay. I have flurry. Because we wanna we wanna hit this guy. She's got swipe. Okay, we're just going we're just gonna wail on it. Okay, scour. One, two, tally ho. And flurry. Grab some food, and nothing more. Gorb, Hulga, thank the seeds I found you. Let's head home. We have something to discuss. All right, tutorial is done. Back at the village, the Slorfs explain everything to the Elder as he listens patiently. You have proved you are worthy of a task beyond simple foraging, and are ready for a hunt. Our gazer scope needs a new eye for a sufficiently big grimp. Without, the, without it, the pilgrimage itself is in jeopardy. Hunt the big grimp. New chapter unlocked. So it's kind of story-based, then. Well, that's kind of neat. Good luck and be thoughtful, or we must have the eye of, for we must have the eye of the big grimp. Okay, so lazy. Give two actions. Oh boy, what is this? Petroglyph. Discover recipe. Well, he doesn't have too far to go. I'm just gonna do walk, and we'll go here. Looks like yeah, I've lost all of my. Old perks. Because my max food has been reset. That's probably fine. Okay, so do we want a lazy? We should probably lazy. Go kill this thing. Okay, explore, explore, lazy harvest. Use. Oh! I can. Har okay. Go here. We've learned a recipe spear. Attack a target in range 2 for 4 damage with 1 pierce. Good to know. And, uh, yeah, just move back here. Okay, and he should still have enough food. This thing has 2 HP. Do we eat the hit? Or do we just bail? No, I think we just have to fight. I wonder if actually we would have been better off doing like an explore two actions. That might have made sense. Okay, so if I do... If I do walk, I can just hit it. It dies, enemies cleared. Okay, now we can do stuff. So we've got that. I'm just going to have him harvest. We don't have a source of water, which is a bit of a doozy. But I think we're fine. Motivation. Grab everything. She's still got enough for an explore. Okay, did we get everything out of here? Because I don't think I can get any more sticks. There's a little bit more food, but I think otherwise we're good. All right, let's make camp. Yeah, because I, I want to grab everything I possibly can before I go. Yeah, that's a lot more EXP. Now we're in a good spot. All right, crafting. What can we, what can we craft? 
So small fire for the extra food, which is pretty good. Oh. And spear. It's going to require quite quite a number of things. It does also have an exhaust, but that's still four damage for one enemy. So I'm going to need a sharp stick, a stone, and goo. And it looks like that also has exhaustion. So we might uh, we want to specifically figure out how to get a stone. This club. Two damage with one blunt. And it's like hiking staff ain't bad. Same thing with the walking stick. But I think we'll leave those for the time being. Let's upgrade cards. Okay, so I've got five. Let's... I might want to upgrade swipe. Let's upgrade swipe. Let's find something big. So charge. Charge to target in a straight line within range three and attack for one damage. Spin. Attack all enemies in range for one damage or just big strike. I'm going to go big strike. And then uh, I could upgrade it further. But I think we want to get rid of one of the lazies for an explore. Yeah. Okay. And then start new day. Here we go. I like the resource management. It's kind of a neat mix. Pesky bug. Actions to evade one. New recipe up there. Also one of those. This guy moves. So we probably... Ugh. Let me take a look. What is that? Oh, Triobelisk. Choose a card from three options. Good to know. Well, yeah, there's a lot of resources to grab. So if I hit the pesky bug. It just misses. Effectively, evasion is just bonus health. Yeah, attack cost. So I, I can attack multiple times, but not easily. So let's grab this stone for the time being. And we don't actually want to use it. Let them come to me a little bit. Okay. I'm going to move here and then hit the pesky bug. And then she is going to big strike it. Motivation. Hit it once. Price goes up, but I get extra attacks. And then we can hit this one. Okay. Enemies are cleared. Now we're free to go. We don't want to, for obvious reasons. Okay. Oh, no. Fish Pond is down there. Stores water, but that's not what we're doing. Oh, I see. She still has an action. That's what's going on here. Grab the food. Grab that. Okay. It doesn't look like there's any resources down below. Uh, let's see. So let's... How much food is he at? He's at plenty. You can get a motivation. And then, oh, we need the harvest card to show back up again. Okay. I've got enough water. I wonder if you can discard resources. That's something I'm going to have to mess around with. Okay. Good harvest. Do take thirst damage, but it's probably worth it. Work. Gives an action. No attacks. Reduce food cost of random card in hand by one. Sneak. May not attack. Skips this turn. Or give Slurf two actions. If next to another Slurf at end of move, give them a buff. Plus one action from card. Encourage seems really interesting. But I think I want to grab Sneak. Give Slurf, Slurf one action. May not attack. Skip enemy turns this round. I'm going to grab that because that seems busted strong. 
Maybe. Okay. We've got a little bit more. We have like no food. But we get a walk. How much? We've just we've got just enough. Oh no, yeah, we we've, we've got enough. Walk there. She's got two. He's got three. So we're good. Or we can do motivation. Perfect. Alright, we get the hammer recipe. And we get the sticks. And then, just barely, we can leave. We took one damage there, but all things considered, it was worth it. We got so much stuff. And now I need to craft, because a number of these things are actually taking up my inventory. Uh, let's see. So, do we make the sharp stick? Yes. Because at the very least, that's worth using. And can stick around. Uh, let's see. I can also do a small fire for the extra max food. Cord supply. What does that do? Adds a bandage recipe. Sticks for every camp or explore card. Card recipe day fire. Ooh, big fire. Heal every camp. Frankly, if I had actually gone for the big fire, eh, no, I wouldn't be able to afford it. Well, I don't need any grass for this side, so we might as well grab the cord supply. And then we can maybe look into wicker baskets. Maybe. I like the idea of the training dummy and the practice practice target especially. But I don't have a whole lot of cards. I don't know. It's fine. Can I upgrade? No, I can't upgrade that. I have 5 EXP. So if I upgrade Sneak, we get Prowl, which costs no food. Walk to explore. Explore is random. Lazy is a problem. We also have to harvest. I'm going to upgrade Sneak first because that costing nothing is big. And then I think I'm going to upgrade Lazy. Or do we upgrade one of the explorers? Let's upgrade one of the explorers, see if I can get another motivation. There's strain, there's outflank. And backtrack. Give Slurf two actions, plus three actions if Slurf is on map edge. I feel like backtrack has a lot of potential if I can plan around it. Outflank has a lot of potential if I'm in trouble. I'm going to do backtrack. Backtrack seems like it would be really good towards the end. Alright, and start a new day. I might get... I might get punished for some of these decisions, but I don't know. Good tactics will carry me far enough. What is this sucker? So that's got armor. I don't know if armor is like dodge or if it's like something else. And I do also have the sharp stick for pierce. Okay, we've got another petroglyph. Glyph. We've got sticks. We've got a nut tree. Sticks, dry grass. We want to kind of head in that, those directions. Um, but I think for now, I'm just going to have him grab that. And we're just going to grab those. Oh. It has two. Ah, uh, it does have two actions, of course. Let's see. So motivation, I could hit this guy, but it would hit me back. And then we'd be trapped. Um, otherwise, I pop motivation. No. No, I think I want to give her motivation. Because she can kill the pesky bug in one round. Otherwise, I could I could waste a stone as an attack. So it looks like that's not a bad idea. Both are slow. But do I want to waste waste the stone? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. 
because we need her to kill that guy. This thing's slow. Both of these are painfully slow. So I can't do a sharp stick, but I can prowl. Oh, berry tuber, I have to harvest. Good to know. If I discard this for free, it looks like it's not... Okay, I can discard branches for free to pass my turn. Okay, so I have a lazy. Let's just do a lazy because we've got food there. Big EXP too. Okay, and then I'm going to have him just go up here. She's at the edge, so we're going to backtrack, which gets her gobs of resources. We get a zapper, attack target in range for two damage. That's good stuff. And there's the Grimp Eye that we were kind of looking for. I also have Big Strike, which is nice. Harvest. Uh, let's see. Do we... Oh! Source just restore all water when adjacent. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm just going to have her chill. And he's got walk back. He does have backtrack, though. That was a good time for it. Big hit. And because he's right on the edge, he's got gobs of resources to just do whatever. And once again, I can just discard these for free to just kill time. Let's see. I'll just block. She'll just discard nut. He will explore. He's got plenty of water. She's just going to keep discarding these. We're going to harvest that. Uh, let's see. We do have motivation, but honestly, discard the Grimp Eye. Enter our harvest. Perfect, perfect. Okay, and that gets him his water back. Grimp Shell. Once again, just discard. And then we lazy to get this. And then I don't see anything else going on. I wish I could kind of harvest the rocks, but alas, it's okay. I'm learning. I'm improving. And I'm getting a lot of stuff too. I think. Okay, let's go crafting. Unfortunately, I don't think I can make the spear. I could make a bandage. Oh. Ouch. Consume destroy card when used. It makes sense, but ouch. Zapper is useful and maybe doesn't have the exhaust. Ooh. Useful. What else do we have? So Cozy Fire adds explore card. Card recipe day fire. Woodshed. It sticks for every camp, which is kind of tempting. What else can I get? Adds explore card. Max water. The extra hand size could go nicely I should not have thrown that stone okay I'm going to get the cozy fire because big fire gets me just healing but I have to be able to afford it we should be able to get some sticks on the next round so I can probably just spend them a little willy nilly I think I'm going to go for the wiki uh, wiki wicker basket there we go. I don't have anything else to craft with, but that's fine. Upgrade cards. 70 EXP. That's good stuff. We also have a lot of these, which is... I don't want to use a single one of them. Yet. So what is... Prowl. Stealth. Wait, back. What is this? Oh, card does not reshuffle. A little rough. What about upgrading backtrack? So... Backtrack turns into return, which is absurd. Easy harvest. Brutal strike. Hmm. These are tough. Because Prowl being free is solid. I I think I'm going to get stealth. Because this way just skips all enemies turn. Um, and what else do we want to grab? Let's upgrade the walk. 
to an explore. Yeah, I'd like to get rid of the lazy, but it's still better than a walk. Okay, start the next day. So, a ways to go, and I do want to try and safeguard her HP a little bit. That is a water pool. It certainly doesn't look like it, but it is one. Okay, I'm just going to harvest that while he's here. So, we have a thorny bug. Which I have to hit with the sharp stick. Fair enough. Okay, the one thing to keep in mind is it is kind of fast. There's not a lot of food up here. Aha, but you know what there is. What about this thing? Actions for evade one. He's probably going to get hit for this. And this says actions too. So we want to do something else. I'm just going to discard the nut. Oh, it can fly. Of course. Uh, what is this? Enter, gain two EXP. Puddle in some other things. I could throw a stone at it, but that's not going to help me too much. I'm just going to lazy my way to this corner. Okay, and she's in kind of an awkward spot. <sighs> Ouch. Okay. It doesn't seem dangerous. Can't sharp stick. Could explore, don't think I want to. Discard the stone. He's just going to explore. We have the tuber. Okay, now she's got heart. Ah, uh, sharp stick. I really wish my hand wasn't quite as bloated as it is. But yeah, I'm just going to kill that. And then we have that thing that is just absolutely speeding. I'm going to grab these. We're just going to wait. Eventually this thing will get close to me. For now, I think we're, I'm just going to kind of chill and cycle a number of things out of my hand. I guess she can explore freely. Grab the meat pile. We have a big strike. But like I said, I can keep just discarding those. Enter or harvest. Grimp eye. No. So like I said, this thing seems to be non-violent, at least for the time being. That gets him a little bit more. Okay, we do have a good spot for a backtrack. Which is tempting. These can be dangerous, but this one seems lost and afraid. I feel a little bad for what I'm potentially going to do to this thing. There we go. And I guess I'm just going to do a big strike because... Whoops. Okay. So we've got a bit. I can harvest this, which gets me a new card. Hop. Dash or another sneak. I'm going to go for another sneak. It is just too absurdly good otherwise. Grab those. And he's got just enough food... To sneak here. Have we got everything on the map? Be nice if I could tell. Looks like we're good. Alright, let's make camp. And we're good. Okay, so what do we do next? Upgrade cards. I mean, upgrading sneak again to prowl is great. Maxing it out fully is huge. What else do we do? 
I mean, upgrading lazy to an explorer ain't bad. Otherwise, let's... Grab these. Collect. Oh. Collect. Gain one action when picking up a card, resource, or EXP gen. Second wind. Recover one random exhausted card in the deck. I'm going to do that. Because that's kind of big. And dig deep. Oh, because it exhausts itself. But I could get it past. I'm, I'm thinking... I'm thinking what we do is we upgrade all of these. Because they're reasonably cheap. Yeah, let's upgrade that one. Another second wind. Extra action for every adjacent tree and water tile. Not bad. Let's go for nature walk. Just kind of pick up a bunch of movement, because we are a little bit movement locked. And that's sometimes a problem. Right, let's take a look. So we have com comfy bedding, but we want big fire. Because that increases my maximum food and gives me healing. Training dummy is tempting. Oh, how many sticks do I have? Not quite enough. How much grass? Because I could get comfy bedding and training dummy. Well, let's see. Water basin. Curious about digest. What about crafting? Because we still need goo if I want to make either of these. Day fire. Aura, range to reduce food costs by one. That's also really interesting. I'm going to grab the day fire. And let's get comfy bedding, I think. Well, I guess I don't have much of a choice, but the extra health should go a long way. Okay, that took maybe just a little too long. So the other thing I could potentially consider is grabbing a bandage. Because she's a little injured. Uh, what else do I even need grass for? Just the training dummy, which is good. Is actually very good. Okay, she can, she can probably make it one more round, especially with the extra bonus HP that we've picked up. Yeah, let's do it. This is neat. I'm really... I'm, oh, yeah. Especially with the petroglyph. So we have a spit bug. Ooh, range three. Spit at anyone posing a threat. Well, he's got backtrack, yes? Yes. We gotta go kill this thing. Zoom! She, on the other hand, has less. Let's pop sneak for now. Let's see. Harvest or destroy. I'm curious if... Oh. Yeah, I don't know if we want to hit those. I'm going to have him harvest the EXP. And we've got the turtle here. Scour. Okay, extra food gained when moving. Take a look at the thorny bug. So he's probably going to take a hit here. I could do other things like hit that, but it's a bad idea. Yeah, I'll just I'll just take the hit. Or not. Okay, cuz I have sharp stick. Oh, adjacent creature. We don't have the spear yet. That has actions too. I'm just going to discard that for the time being. She's going to... This food? Yep. Okay, so I guess he's going to take more damage than I thought. Thorns. This guy does more damage, but we can just kill it. And not much for it. I've got too much grabbage. What do we have? We have some nuts.
None of these are going to give me actions. This is bad. Okay, there's an explorer. He's still going to take a hit for it, though. This is the problem with me hoarding resources. Let's see. I'm going to hit that, and then we're going to move back. There's motivation, but we're just going to keep discarding these. Ah, rude. Could do a nature walk, but I guess I'm just going to do a big strike. How? Okay, every adjacent tree and water tiles. So that's some. Let's just go here. Did that actually help him too much? Nope, it didn't. So I guess in that case, he's the one that has to go to the petroglyph. That hurt a bit. Oh, there's the day fire. I'm going to put it there because I don't know if I can walk over it. I feel like trying to do so could go badly. There's the goo. We found the goo, second wind. Okay, let's just keep discarding a couple of these. Nature path. Anything else on this region that I've missed? Except for, oh, there's a grass, there's grass up there. So I should go get that. Big strike. No, let's let's just keep discarding these items. Oop, that's gonna hurt him. Just avoid motivation. Perfect. Anything else I can do? I see these bones, which are frankly spooky. Grab that. And is there anything else? Because I realize my kleptom kleptomania is actually causing me some amount of damage at this point. But... Should be fine. Especially now that I can make, I think, the spear. Crafting. Craft cards. So I can make the spear. I could also make some other things. Harvest an adjacent tile. If you gain an item or resource, card gain two. Oh, that's really good. But I gotta grab the spear. Range two for four damage, one pierce. Okay, we could also make a club, could make a bandage. Let's go back to improve camp for a hot second. I did, I probably did get enough sticks, but I just used it on the spear, which I think was worth it. I should have gotten woodshed. <sighs> so, do we grab club? Do we make bandage? At this point, I have two grass and I only have, okay, I can make one bandage. Do I make the club? Yeah, I think I have to. We'll probably get another stone. My big issue is we're just ending up with too many of these, uh, these big sticks. And keeping them around is gonna bloat my deck in a way that I start dying. Uh, let's see. So I've got 70 XP to spend on things. I'm thinking, why don't we upgrade Scour? Or, no. Scour's the extra food. Why don't we upgrade Second Wind to dig deep? Costs a little bit more food, but lets me get a lot more exhausted items out of the deck. Maybe. Or do we upgrade the next Sneak to a Prowl? Let's upgrade Sneak to Prowl and then upgrade Explore. Backtrack or another nature walk. I'm going to go backtrack. And then other one. I'm going to keep going nature walk. Outflank would be in... Uh, no, let's grab an outflank. Because we did get surrounded there and it seemed like there were a couple of points where that actually would have been helpful. Uh, crafting is possible. What? What, what is... I mean, otherwise, let's actually grab the water basin. It's not helping me thin deck here, which is unfortunate, but still. So I gotta find a fish for the next one. But, I mean, digest seems like it would be good. I could make another bandage, but we want to save the grass. 
Uh, let's take a look at this. What is this? Bug egg. Hatches if disturbed, becomes dormant in evenings. Gustwood pushes enemies and slurfs one tile. What else do we have? We have a petroglyph. Extra food gain. Probably just have him explore. Oh. It did hatch. Well, we've got the recipe for battle staff. I guess... It, did, it didn't hatch into the bug that I thought it was going to hatch into. Honestly, I'm just going to cycle the tuber. I'm just going to wait. Oh, that's... That's everybody. So this, this thing's actually a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I'm going to scour, and we're just going to go here. I got to hit this. So we have a pesky bug, so let's pop motivation and kill it. There's still the shooter. Yeah, there's still a spit bug. Oh, it changes directions every single time. That's good to know. Let's do backtrack next. And just grab that. Not that it matters too much. Okay, we have these guys. Spikes. Damage on entering unless flying. Missile. Backtrack. Second wind. I don't know if I've exhausted anything. Oh. Let's bandage. That's why I picked it anyway. Okay, so he wants to backtrack. Kill the murder tree. Break that. Get sticks. We need to have her stealth. Now he could do outflank. He could do a second wind. I'm just going to harvest. Oh, boy. So that evades. That's... This is a problem. If I outflank... And we go here. Shooty bug is problem. So we have a... Day hike. Second wind. I'm just going to have him second wind. Big strike. She's just fighting. There's nothing I can do about it. We got a club. Toss the nut. Oh, the spit bug doesn't actually have that much HP. Now that I'm thinking about it. So I can just kill it. Could have just killed it a long time ago, I guess. Alright. And let's just start gathering resources here. He does not have much. I guess we'll just harvest that. Hope for something easy. Get a fire. Yeah, that spear would have been lovely. Club also would have been lovely. Yeah, okay, he'll just hang out and discard. Though there's a couple of things up here that I want him to get to. If we can. Luckily, there seems to be no time limit. So I can just kind of chill. There we go. Now he has a backtrack, but no food. Could eat the nut. Probably should eat the nut. Let's see. Now, do we do backtrack? We have a pair of backtracks. She has no food. Yeah, so I, get, I guess we gotta... No, why did I... Well, it's fine. Nature walk. I'll take it. Let's see. Food there. We have explore. There's also the bug egg. 
Oh, well, this is just unfortunate. Let's just do backtrack. He'll take some damage, but what else are we going to do about it? Go get some water back. Let's see. There's a little bit of food. Unfortunately, yeah, I can't do much with him. She's got Scour. Move here. Let's do Harvest, save motivation for him. Because all she has to do is just get that one. Like the goo. And there's stealth. Perfect. Okay. I don't think there's anything else for me to grab. Plenty of spikes. Took a little bit more damage than I wanted to, but not overwhelmingly so. And we've got some resources to make some interesting weapons. Next goal is to get rid of as many things as I possibly can. Because I think we've got a boss fight at the end of this. So there's training dummy. It's a little late for that, though. Zapper, where's the battle staff? Battle staff. I don't think I have enough sticks for it. So give Slurf... Oh, Slurf four actions. Plus one damage while card is in use. That's actually pretty good. Also, we have hammer. Uh, pa, pa, pa. I've got some grass. I think a hammer wouldn't be a bad idea. That consumes quite a lot of resources and is a really solid weapon. Uh, do we want to do the same thing with the zapper? It's too late for the strong basket, good as it is. Yeah, let's make the zapper. And a bandage. And yeah, it could have improved the camp. A training dummy would have been nice, but this run ain't long enough for it. This way I've cleared out most of my regular items. I probably should have been eating the, um, the fruits and veggies. Turns out, there's not a whole lot to uh, craft with them. It's fine. Okay, and I've got six. So we can upgrade Prowl. I think I'm going to upgrade Second Wind to Dig Deep. That way we can get some of this stuff back. And that gives me just enough for something. So Outflank turns to Breakout. Two actions per adjacent en enemy. That's big. That's just big. Plus two actions for each. Let's see. Explore, Harvest, Big Strike. And yeah, we've got a couple of weapons here. Ooh. Scrolling here is a bit dicey. Let's just, um... Let's get outflank. Just in case we end up toe-to-toe -to -toe with something nasty that I have trouble with. I mean, it's going to be a boss fight, so no matter what, it seems like I'm going to be up against something tough. Ooh, big grimp. No more bug, no more slorf. Stay sharp. Okay. So this is a really good time for a backtrack if I wanted to do it. Tough sucker, attack, oh, this one ate a lot of dirt and has a lot of range. It also has some bug nests, friend is there. Don't have too much. Let's just get up in there. If this thing has the ranged attacks, then I just want to get up and in. Boy, backtrack is nice. Oh, that's an AoE. Okay, we have the tuber. We have a couple of things. I think I'm just going to chuck rock. Branch. I just want to burn some of these. What else am I going to do? Well, we've got the spear. And there's the hammer, but I gotta get close. She's injured. Oh, perfect. It moved. Eat hammer. We did it. That eye is huge. Good thing we can roll it home. Gorbin Holga, carefully roll the giant grimp eye back to the village. Thanks for playing the demo. Hey, all right. So, this is a banger. It's a little slow, but at the same time, it's got that kind of perfect level of, uh, perfect mixture between 
Oh, there's lore in the background, whatever, it's fine. Uh, I'll get to this when the game actually comes out. But it's got that perfect combination of deck builder gameplay of really interesting cards that can be exploited in different ways. I love the use of um, backtrack just for tons of moves. And the the risk reward of holding on to spare resources, you know, having all of these sticks and shells and stuff that are kind of clogging up the deck. So, you know, you have to kind of balance around that. Do you craft items early or do you save up for the upgrade you're really going for? I'd love to see a little bit of like storage or something that you can also build so you can remove maybe one or two things and just hold them in reserve just as something else to build towards in that camp screen. But honestly, beyond that, I, I think it worked rather well. Uh, and I never really felt like I was I was outmatched card-wise. Maybe it gets so much harder once you get further into the game. Because it seems like, unlike uh, most roguelikes where it's just, uh, you know, run after run after run and not much changes, this one has increasingly more difficult chapters, more complex chapters, but with their own little story and goal. So, more a linear story game with the inclusion of roguelike mechanics as kind of a way to keep the core gameplay loop going. I'm six of one, half a dozen of that. I have yet to see many games do that kind of structure particularly well at all. Um, but that said, I'm super open to the idea of it happening. And, I mean, once again, the implementation I've seen so far is very promising, and I want to see more of it. But with all that said, if you guys want to play Zor yourselves, the demo is available now on Steam. Uh, and it should be out, it says early 2022, so I'm not actually quite sure when it is coming out. Uh, they have a dev diary from a couple weeks ago. Uh, actually, a couple weeks ago, like, uh, yesterday. The dev diary number one came out yesterday, so this must have been an absolutely just surprise recent demo drop. But, like I said, it works really well. There's a lot of systems that I like to see here, and I can't wait to play more. But, with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I'm going to be back for this one when it comes out, and I got a lot of other games to check out in the meantime. But, until then, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.